Welcome back to the Eagles Nest Esports Podcast, the podcast where we talk all things esports. And I'm your host, Joshua, along with me, as always, just a wonderful Overwatch coach. Sam, you know me, you know. Mr. Stackler. Oh, wow. <laughs> my... <laughs> Sam, ruining the podcast, being muted. So my name is uh, Sam Stackler. I am the Overwatch coach, and I do mute my mic on occasion. Josh, <laughs> how are go. you today? I'm doing wonderful, wonderful. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, I think a lot of people are going to be confused watching this because we're not live this time. Yeah, right? good morning, America. Good morning, America. As you've also changed our seats, you know, it's a little weird. Not going to lie, a little weird, a little weird. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm not. I'm used to a table. I like it, though. I like you know, this. I, I got a desk, got my trophy, got my... Yeah. We got a little friend here. Don't know what, what were we named what, this What guy? was his name? What was this guy's name? What what is this? What's this guy's name? Gentleman's name. Widowmaker. Widowmaker. Also Vincent. Vincent. Yeah, Vincent Widowmaker. Johnny Padula. I like so, that. So you know, just the three most prestigious items in Eagle Esports history here. You know, can't complain. Can we? But we have another yeah. great episode planned for you today. We oh, have yeah. a lot to talk about. A lot of games. I think this is the first week, except for one team, where every game was active this week. I think last week was. The f well, I wasn't, but both yeah. of the Rocket League teams were. So exactly, I think more. But yeah, a lot of exciting stuff coming up today. A lot for sure. of stuff. We also have our players of the week. As always, looking forward to talk about those. But without any further ado, let's hop right. Let's into hop it. into Monday night action, shall we? Uh, so, so uh, I just want to. I want to go ahead and say for all of my Rocket League fans, this was a bye week, unfortunately. No Rocket League. So week. no Rocket League <laughs> happened. But guess what did happen? As always on Monday night, Josh. Oh, um, let me take a guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Uh, start with a V. Let's start with a V. Vanessa. Vanessa. I don't think Vanessa happened. <laughs> Monday night Valorant. Oh yes, yeah, Val 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 Valorant. Yeah. Valorant happened. Yeah. Valorant. You know, always. You know, me and Colby just bringing it up. Y'all are no offense. Like next to, well, no offense. Next to Toast and Will, y'all are like the you no know, one of the best casting. Yeah, I, I mean, shout out Aaron by the way, my my siege caster. You know. Yeah, I think all the casting duos have been doing pretty Honestly, solid. Yeah. We had some new casts. Like I said, this I think this is the most you've been casting too. Kobe's also fairly new. Aaron, you know, a lot of mm -hmm. new casters this time around. And let me tell you, they have been killing it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, but most sure. of the Val Black commentators. Yeah. No, but yeah, we did. We went against. UARC. 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 Now, here's the thing, though. When I think of UARC, you think of University of Arkansas, right? Yeah. I don't know where they got the, tri the tripod terrors. The trackpad tri terrors. The, tra the trackpad terrors. Yeah, we did terrors. play against the trackpad terrors. That was the um, the team name from UARC. Um, UARC, yeah. UARC. So, we did, it went to three. I right? did see that. We won our first map. You want to take a guess of what the map oh, was, Oh, let me Josh? take a guess. It was the best map in Valorant. Pearl. That's right. You know, oh my goodness. USM still, I believe we're three and zero in officials on Pearl. Oh, we don't lose day. Pearl. We don't lose yeah. Pearl. I lose we, Pearl all the time. Then we played Icebox and Bond. Unfortunately, we did get a little reverse swept. Um, you know, losing two one. Mm -hmm. But it, it was pretty close, specifically on Bind and then on um, Pearl. Obviously, Pearl was close. Pearl um, was a really close game. Icebox still is unfortunate, but <laughs> I did want to highlight some roster things that happened. We did not see um, Misha or primary duelist player on Monday. I did see that. Yeah, so we had Semler filling the, in, uh, not that initiator. The duelist the, role. The duelist role, right? Mm -hmm. So playing the Rays. Um, that was like the biggest sub. We didn't see Jan either, the uh, I also IGL. Was, I yeah. was worried about that one. That's the one thing. Without your IGL, you know, it's going to be different if you're from a different IGL and seeing like how that role slot would. Yeah. But, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, we also saw the debut of Cal. USM Cal. USM yeah. Cal, the debut of Cal. You know, so I think she was mostly playing the Sova, if I'm Sova correct. and KO, yep. So, Sova and KO, so playing then that. Then KO you know, on Bind and then Sova on the other two. Those were some, like I said, it was a debut for her, so it was also very interesting to see that as well. And you're not playing with your main IGL, you're also playing with someone who's just now debuting too, mm -hmm. so no. Def and a lot of role changes. Yeah, we had Clueless back on the Smokes, because uh, Sembler was on Duelist. Um, Lobo was still on the cipher on that um, primary sentinel role. I think he's enjoying yeah. that role. I think he really is enjoying that role. But I mean, close games, like I said, Pearl. I mean, yeah. you close just games don't, for don't sure. take the Pearl. Just don't yeah. do it. Should be interesting next week. You know, as always, Monday Night Valorant always happening. It should be interesting next week to see how the roster advances because mm -hmm. we've now seen, I believe, all seven of the players that are on black have yes, played okay. at least a match. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of wondering what the roster going forward will look like. Um, so that will be cool to see. I definitely will say, like, it definitely feels weird, like, switching IGLs. So I feel like that's yeah. one thing that should stay persistent within the Val Black team is just make sure there's that one consistent IGL because switching IGLs for a game. It's a little sus. 
a little sus, but also it's gonna you know kind of ruin like the game plan, yeah. and especially the like attack and defense strikes. You don't have that. Okay, we need to rotate. Yeah, you don't know when to rotate because you don't have that main shot caller telling you what we need to do at that certain time. So I mean. I mean, but still, bringing to a map three with a whole new roster, yeah, that's still really good. I mean, yeah. I couldn't say the same, but you know, hey, it is what it is. But you yeah, know, again, that was I our mean, main action. I have to ask, like, you know, I would say IGLs are probably more important in Valorant than either of our games. Oh yeah, for and sure. They're still pretty important in our games. Um, I'm so definitely Overwatch. I will say I can see IGL being very important because you also want to know me when you take a big fight. You need to know what yeah. we need to be doing, who we need to be focused on in that yeah. time. Who should we more? No, try to kill first before, you know, yeah. taking the point or taking or escort. Overwatch is almost too chaotic for <laughs> Very chaotic for IGL. Like, typical kind of classic IGLing. It's very much more. For sure, for sure. On the spot, but yeah. But moving on, to, I think that was all of Monday. No, that was all of Monday, yeah, we didn't have. Broccoli will be back in action next week, though. You know, well, is, does postseason start next week for Rocket No, League? they still have no. one more. I think they both do have one more team They to both play. have one more week they to play. They both have one more week okay. to play. So, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing um, the competition, though. No. I know playoff contentions are kind of out for Rocket League Gold, but Team Black still has a little ways to go. Their season is still going. I, I want to refer to that. Rocket League Gold has one more game. Rocket League Black still has a few more games because their season starts a little bit later. Right. So they still have a few more games to go. But Rocket League Gold, this is their last game of the season. Can, can you remind us of the records of those two teams currently? If you, I, I, know, I believe. I know it's one and three for Black and then um, probably around two, four. Three, I am four. pulling up to the side over here, making sure I am right. Because, you know, I don't want to be wrong. We're, we're looking it up. Don't. I, yeah, we just want to make sure we you get, get a nice side view. Yeah. Okay, so the black team is currently one and two. One and two. One so and two. Not so they're not two. doing too bad. I mean, start the season, you know, can't complain. Yeah. They're still looking good. And Rocket League Premier, their gold team, is two and four right now. Two and so four. Like I said, they are eliminated from playoff contention. However, they still have a chance. Like I said, those LCQs we were talking about last week. I'm looking forward to see what they do in there because you no, know, it's another chance to see if we can qualify for those playoffs. Yeah. So you know, I think they're gonna bring everything they got to this last yeah. match of the season to, to you no know, better seeing towards LCQs hopefully. Yeah. But that's all for the Monday. And night definitely action. tune in though because I think it will be very hyped to see yeah. that the <laughs> final regular season game. Oh, for sure. But we gotta move on to another wonderful regular season and the debut of another regular season for one. Oh yeah. Team. Let's start, with, there. let's start with Halo. Let's start with Halo. Man. Um, I forgot who we played. We played Sam Houston. Oh, yeah, Sam Houston. Very, very, very dominant 3-0 sweep. Quick, yep. and, quick and to the point. Yep. We definitely saw they came out with a vengeance, especially after that West Virginia match. Oh, yeah. They came out swinging on all cylinders. They sure did. And this was actually the first time they played an all objective. So there was no Slayer. It was mostly, I think it was King of the Hill, Oddball, and I think CT. No? They, didn't play they did not play Oddball. They didn't play they did play Slayer? They did play Slayer. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Just making sure, just making sure. But yeah, a dominant victory for them. I definitely saw Bro. Widow and Riggs. I mean, shout out those two. They definitely put in a lot of work for those matches. Especially, like I said, after almost getting reversed up last week, I'm pretty sure they went this week saying, we cannot have that happen again. Because I saw the 2-0, and I was like, okay, we could do this. But let's... I've been in this place before. <laughs> oh, man. I, I mean, I think it was against a Butler you know, in playoffs and semifinals. Oh, yeah, for me? Oh, yeah. yeah. Where, where you really said, <laughs> yeah. listen, guys, we're yeah. not getting reverse swept today. No, we did the reverse sweep. Oh, y'all did the reverse yeah. sweep. Yeah. Y'all were not getting swept. That's today. definitely a story, maybe, for a podcast episode. I'm just saying. Yeah. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have. It this definitely, yeah. So that actually was during the bracket we won. Oh, um, yeah. I guess we can tell the story now. Oh, we, we have, well, we got to go into Overwatch, but again. Oh yeah! Shout out right. Halo. Shout out dominant, Halo. Dominant, dominant victory. victory. Shout out Cardi. Shout out Cardi. Yep. You know, definitely look. USM forward. Mike. USM Mike. Yep. Also Spoolie. Shout out Spoolie too. Spooly. Yeah, remember, I don't know if you remember last week, but uh, against West Virginia, he had that first map. Um, no, and then we had to restart, and he came ballistic. Yeah, he was ballistic. This you are so absolutely looking forward to next week. I do not know. See, it's the weird thing about Halo. You don't know who you play next. You just have to be prepared for whoever. It just kind of happens. It just kind of yeah, happens. That's weird. But. Overwatch. Overwatch. The yeah. debut. So we had our debut. Oh. In Overwatch 2. Oh, yeah. I don't, I mean this in the most loving way. Uh -huh. They could not have picked a harder opponent for us to <laughs> debut against. Um, we did play against Northwood University, um, who is probably one of the best schools, if not the best, at Overwatch, just oh, historically. Yeah. They ended up getting second in the end of, like last year in the collegiate, the overall, like all colleges bracket, kind mm -hmm. of like the... March Madness the style. The Blizzard, the actual Yeah, the Blizzard style oh one. So goodness. all teams were in there. They got second. They lost 3-2 to Maryville. At oh, that. Maryville. And they're a very good school. <laughs> we got 
rolled. Uh, I'll be real. You know, lost 3-0. We love an um, honest coach. We love an honest yeah. coach. Yeah. So there was, uh, you know, we did lose, unfortunately, but we got to take away a lot of things. We saw what they were doing. I'm um, mm -hmm. just looking at it, seeing their comps they were playing. Some of their, I'll be honest, their comps, they were kind of trolling, but <laughs> they, they, I think they knew that, like, they were just, they knew that mechanically they were so solid. I mean, um, so... I might want, I want to ask, like, what do you think you were able to gain from that? Because I know, like I said, being 3 0 up isn't the best feeling. Yeah. But however, when you're playing a school like Northwood, I'm pretty sure y'all learned a lot. Especially, I know you had a new player, and, like, mm -hmm. I think you had two, two. new players. I think mm -hmm. it was Z and also, no, the return of Matthew Morgan, too. Matthew Morgan and then uh, Ethan, who's and Ethan. Zeno. Or, I, I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> it's off, yeah. it's off. So, how, so, what do you feel like you took away from that, Sweb? Yeah, Especially sure. Especially being the coach of the team. Yeah, so specifically, their individual players were really solid, obviously. Mm -hmm. I would say mostly they weren't, um, they knew that they were going to win, no matter what they did. Okay. And that happens sometimes. Like, mm -hmm. it's kind of the same, like, you know, when USM football plays Alabama, it's kind of just like a, <laughs> it feels like a formality. And that, that really is what it felt like playing against Northwood, right? Like, just for the people that don't really follow esports, it was just kind of that, like, whole, like, tear break almost difference. Mm -hmm. And that happens sometimes. So we got to learn, I would say, mostly the individual play that they did, mm -hmm. like the decisions that individually they were making, not mm -hmm. necessarily as a team, but individually what they were able to accomplish on their own. Okay. Like positioning-wise, like obviously we could say like they aimed better than us, but like, okay, how were they using their cooldowns? How mm -hmm. were they positioning all that stuff? I'm stuff sure. we looked at going in to tonight because we do have two matches per week. Oh, man, the rush, so, the rush you know, schedule. You know. We're wanting to... Bounce back and get a W, you know, go one and one in the first week. It's against of Iona, if correct. Iona? Yeah. Is Iona, it Iona or Iona? Or I, I think, think it's Iona. Iona. Yeah. They play, they play tonight at 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock, yeah. 6 o'clock on the dot. I think y'all will be streamed too, I think. Uh huh. Y'all will be streamed. Should be. So, tune in. Twitch.tv slash Southern Miss Esports Sports. to see Overwatch 2 back in action tonight. But I think that wraps up for the yeah. Tuesday. The Tuesday. For the week. Moving on to yesterday. Yesterday. We had, of course, the LOL team. LOL. The LOL team and the Valgo team. So, the LOL team. I think we need to preface what's just we've what's happened to the. Oh! The, oh, the oh, LOL team, oh. you know? So, the LOL team. So. Being in NECC, mm -hmm. um, NECC saw that there was kind of a competition disparity between, mm -hmm. between their division they're in and the, our team itself. So, they end up getting moved down from the Emergence, which is the, about the second lowest, to being in the Navigators division. Right. So, I mean... They got switched conferences, basically. Pretty much. Um, they were they are put in South now, I believe. Yeah, they're in the South. Like, yeah. it was a competition disparity between the Emergence Division and our team itself. So, in order to keep the competition fair with our team, they decided to move them down to mm -hmm. the Navigators Division. However, I don't think, you know, they came in there and they just swept yeah. NAU Academy. Yeah, I absolutely. I think that's North Alabama, right? I, I do not I know. believe so. I'm going to assume North Alabama. That whole game, like, you know... We've watched three weeks. You know, we, I've talked to Colby, me and Colby. Yeah. Last night? Yes. It was North Arizona. North, North Arizona. Arizona. Thank you, production man. Hey, Dino. Hey, Dino. You know. Twitch.tv slash Hey, Dino. Hey, I just want to shout out Hey, Dino for a second because <laughs> I don't know if you guys know about the Kerbal Space Program. Oh, but yes. But Hey, Dino most recently went to outer space um, and cosplayed the cockpit. You know, it was just amazing. Wonderful content, I, by the way. It was just pure content. Lovely anyway, you content. know what else is pure content, Josh? What is also pure content? Why I also... Make sure I told them that they swept the team. They did sweep too they, well. They, yeah. It was a too well sweep. It, it was pretty dominant. Pretty but dominant. the real content I know everyone wants to hear about is Sam's Weekly Dinosaur. Oh, Facts. ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Sam's Weekly Dinosaur Facts. And so, Josh, you know what I was thinking about earlier today? What, what were you thinking about? Not really even earlier today. Like, this Sunday, I was thinking... You know what we were missing what in were, life? What were we missing in life? Big flying birds that Big? go really fast. <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you today about, about the Quetzalcoatl. The I'm sorry, did that? The you Quetzalcoatl. Say the, the Quetzalcoatl. Yeah. And when you say big flying bird, I'm thinking pterodactyl. No, so the Quetzalcoatl, the Quetzalcoatl is not only the biggest bird, mm -hmm. the biggest dinosaur bird, right? Mm -hmm. You know, big flyer mm -hmm. that existed. Also the fastest, which is really interesting. Mm -hmm. Their top speed while flying was 66 miles per hour. That's faster than my car. Which is insane. On the highway. And their wingspan. Do you want to guess how big their wings were? Uh, I'm going to guess bigger than this. 40 feet was their wingspan. That's span. a big... That's, that's it's a, a big bird. That's a big bird. It's so a fast bird. Just imagine. You look up in the sky. Mm -hmm. You see 40 feet of wing. 
and you see them going about 60 miles per hour. Sorry, question. Is, is that wingspan bigger than like a, to your typical commercial airline? I would imagine it's close. It's close. I, probably around th that similar, so obviously not in length, but in... So like if I wingspan, see a bird, yeah. if I see this Quetzalcoatl, yeah. with the wingspan almost as big as, almost the same as an airplane, going 66 miles per hour in the sky, I'm probably going to hide for dear life. Yeah. And you know, that's, that's pretty terrifying. That's it very also, terrifying. It also, so that was its top speed. Its cruising speed was a little slower at 55 miles per hour, which that's is slow. still absurd. That's slow. I'm sorry, excuse me. Did you say 55 yeah. is slow? I want to keep, I want to tell you guys that this is a, this was a living creature. It wasn't like a machine and it was <laughs> going 55 miles per hour in the air. This is an actual animal. This that is was not nuts. a plane. This yeah. is an animal. Well, it's extinct now. But is it? Well, yeah. it used to be an animal. Yeah, it's no longer alive. <laughs> it's no longer with us today. And you know who is no longer with us today either? What is no longer? I do have to talk about Jeffrey. Ah, oh, Jeffrey. USM Jeffrey. Oh, man. So, you know, if, so if you don't remember last week's episode. It was two weeks ago. Oh, two, I gave oh, my two, player two. of the week to Jeffrey because he absolutely clutched a 1v3 against three other Raptors. <laughs> but unfortunately... I took Jeffrey into the lava cave on the island. Oh, and no. I Jeffrey. unfortunately failed a parkour jump, and he ran out of stamina and fell in a <laughs> pit of lava. So Jeffrey is um, no longer among us. Maybe we have R.I.P. Jeffrey. Moment of silence for Jeffrey. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Jeffrey. Yeah, we miss Jeffrey. You're, you're, but there is now, I do have Jeffrey 2 kicking it around. Let's go, Jeffrey 2. The, re, yeah. the, re, the revival yeah. of Jeffrey 2. Oh, yeah. But, you know, you can catch all of this on Sam's favorite game. Ark Survival, Arc Survival Evolved. Evolved, yeah. You know? That must be so confusing to people that don't know. <laughs> I was talking about Ark when I said my Raptor died and clutched a 1v3 and then fell <laughs> off into lava. Yeah, that is on Ark Survival Evolved. No, best game, you know, you can never think Goated of. Goated game. So, once again, thank you, Sam, for that yep. weekly dinosaur fact. Tune in next week to where we talk about something else. Another dinosaur. Another fact. dinosaur for the week, the Quetzalcoatl. Thank you, the Quetzalcoatl. Yep. But, yeah, League of Legends, dominant victory. Moving on to, to Val Gold. Val Gold. Who do we play? I am looking that up once again. I have my laptop right here next to me, guys. So, if, you, if I look off to this, I just know I'm trying to make yeah, sure. Yeah, so, unfortunately, we right. have so many teams to cover. And I, me and Josh are coaches for games too so we, we don't exactly know the team names we know they played okay we know the results wayne state wayne state wayne state warriors okay. the wayne state warriors the wayne okay. state warriors that goes they, hard they took an 0-2 loss unfortunately however mm. they are having they're on the bye week okay they're on the bye week next week so there will be no val goal next week there will only be league of legends so you know like i said val goal you know no, very tough competition i will say definitely some of the tougher competition mm -hmm. they expected to play in their debut season so, but, I mean, during yeah. this bye week, they're probably going to take some time to, you know, recuperate, you know, figure out what we need to do next. Because yeah. they only have two more games left in the season against the Cleary Cougars and DSU. 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 Now, that is not Delta State University for our Mississippi fans out there. That is Dickinson State. Where is that? I have no idea where <laughs> Dickinson State is, but let's just say it's somewhere in a city called Dickinson. Yep. That, I'm taking a guess. I'm taking, yep. I'm taking a guess here. We'll jump that hurdle when we get we, there. We will jump yeah. that hurdle when we get there. That's our last game to see. But well, I think we have one more week of action to go over, and that's last week's Thursday action. That's right, yeah. Yeah, so we have... Wait, no one plays on Thursday. Oh, no one plays Not, on Thursday? Wait, but someone does. Oh, someone does. Rainbow Six Siege, Rainbow baby. Six Siege and Smash, both black and gold right, plays yeah. last week. But I think we'll start with Siege. Uh, we played against Northwood. Yeah, and a little, unlike, uh, unlike, uh, yeah. unlike the sweep Northwood did on them, we swept Northwood. Yeah. Two, um, classic 2-0 victory out of USA. But, fun fact about Northwood, they're the only team to win more than two rounds against us. Good for them. They won three rounds against us. <laughs> and they, our first, the first half was a 7-1 victory. Now, I must say, for that 7-1 victory that we took, one of the rounds, and the only round they won, well, it's because of an accidental team kill on my end. Yeah, for those Just who didn't... don't not, shoot your teammate. For yeah, it. for those who didn't watch the VOD, you, you, you're going to see a wonderful moment in the Villa game where I accidentally team killed one of our teammates while trying to make rot or trying to make an angle. And, you know, I ended up taking over, but he took a revolver to pellet it to the head. It was not a good time. So, you know, shout out to that yeah, one round they won. Shout out to USM Josh for, you team know, costing Who did you kill? Uh, Fate Plotnik. Mm. Yeah, 
Very, it was very sad. I, I was like, what are what? you doing? I don't know what I was doing. I was just trying to shoot the wall. That's all I was trying to do. But apparently it didn't work out that way. You call yourself the coach and you're killing your team. I know. I Batman. Look, it's a bad look on my <laughs> end. It's a bad look. But we still took the win. Yeah, still was 7-1 on that map. 7-1 and then 7-2 on Chalet. We are playing tonight, actually. However, we will not be playing at 7.30. Uh-oh. We are playing at 8.30. So this is going to be a pretty, pretty, pretty late game. So please bring your energy drinks, bring your water, bring everything because bring your gonna... popcorn. Also, a little special announcement: we are going to be wearing pajamas because it's also homecoming week at USM. Yeah, homecoming week. I love homecoming. Homecoming. We play Saturday against Arkansas State. Shout out to football team. Shout out football. But we are be wearing our pajamas in honor of our very late game because you know we're all going to be tired, so we want to be able to go home yeah. and sleep. But also homecoming week. You no, know, just a way we can participate in homecoming. You no, know, stay involved with campus activities. For sure. But, you know, looking forward to our game tonight against Missouri State Live, 8.30. Pre-show starting at 8.15, you know, with the help of our wonderful production mayor, Haydino, as always. And John hosting the pre-show, as always. Great to have him. Wait, but, so yeah. Haydino and USM John are staying for an 8.30 game? I would hope so. That's crazy. I, I think I think I des <laughs> they deserve a lot for all they do for yeah. us. I'm not going to lie because, you know, hey, Dino, man, let me tell you. Yeah, he is, is a workhorse. That guy is a... That guy looks like a middle-aged father with the amount of work he's putting in. <laughs> it's crazy. It's honestly crazy. I do not blame them. But we also have two more games to go over tonight besides the one for Overwatch yeah, yeah. against Iona at 6 o'clock. Well, tonight. have we gone over last week's results for Smash? Oh, yes. While I get that up, too, because my laptop is once again logging me out. Thank you, laptop, for costing me the episode. Hey, guys. Varsity Hope Plus. Well. So uh, this, is their, this is their Smash Black team. They play against Kaiser University in Jacksonville. Classic 2-0 sweep from them Classic. as well. I mean, after being 2-0 twice at the beginning of the season, they really said, Just you know really what? Really bouncing back. We're, they took the bounce back. 2-0 Kaiser. Dominant victory by them as always. Poggers. We'll be back tonight at 6 o'clock against Faulkner. Faulkner. Faulkner University. Now, please do not think I was saying the other word. I'm saying Faulkner. F A U L K. What other word are you talking about? Josh? I don't know what other word I'm talking about. I just wanted to make sure we all knew that. What What are you talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm getting a nod from Chipper that don't even think about that. But no, I'm just saying. I was oh. saying that word. Oh, that the are we talking about that word? Oh, okay. fire truck. The fire truck. Oh yes, uh, fire trucks. My fire bad. Trucks. We have a fire truck segment. I don't know what the fire truck segment will be. We'll just be fire trucks. Okay, so I have a funny story about a fire truck segment. I got to talk about the goal team. Let me okay. talk about Smash Gold real quick <laughs> before we get to our fire trucks and players of the week. Oh, my goodness. So, our Smash Gold team. Let me derail the conversation, man. So, I don't know if you remember our last episode. We were talking about the Golden Eagles versus the Golden Eagles. So, it was Southern Miss Golden Eagles versus the Oral Roberts Golden Eagle. Apparently, our Golden Eagles are just better because... We diff. Actually, no, they forfeited. Oh, we clear those. Yeah, they, they, the Oral Roberts forfeited their match. So, unfortunately... We got four foot wins, so we are clearly the better Golden Eagles. The intimidation factor. I'm just saying, they saw us here like, we don't want the smoke. We didn't start the fire. Sorry. Of, oh, my copyright, we can't be saying that. We can't be saying it. It goes hard. It does go hard. Hard song. So, they'll be back in action tonight against Lono Esports. Lono? Loyola University in New Orleans. Mm. Yeah. Shout out New Orleans. I thought you said Lobo Esports. Lobo Esports. I was like. Shout out Lobo Esports. Shout but, out. I think that's all the USM action. Did we get all the USM actions for the week? I'm counting to make sure in my head. Yes, I think we did. Did we talk about the USM fire truck yet? Oh, the USM fire truck is black and yellow. That's all. Yeah, so back in my, this was actually on ARC, which makes it all, uh, all it, the much better. Back to ARC. <laughs> it was like my 11th grade year mm -hmm. of high school. Yes. Me and my friends, we were kicking it on ARC Survival Evolved mm -hmm. on the Xbox, mm -hmm. the Xbox One. And we would run around on, like, the Dodicarus, which is, like, this really slow dinosaur. Oh, well, you talk, did you talk about the Dodicarus? Yeah, I did, actually, yeah. The Dodicarus. You know, the, the really, like, heavy, large, small animal. Mm -hmm. Not really small, but, you know, smaller. Mm -hmm. And one of my friends, he rounded up a hill and started playing sirens and started screaming, fire, 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 while moving five miles per hour. <laughs> he was very, you know, he, he, yeah. was he was very taken with that fire. Yeah. But I think we have one more segment to go over. We have our players of the week. Oh, yeah. This is an exciting segment. Sponsored by Coca-Cola and State Farm. 
Yeah. All the supporters of USM Esports right Thank you for all y'all do for the program. Shout out. Also, shout out Southern Miss for all they do for the program. Yeah, y'all thought I was going to mention their sponsors? Well, you thought. You thought. Yeah. I'm on top of it. Um, what? I don't know why I did that. But yeah, hey, Josh I just said, did that. come at yeah, me. Come at me now. I just come did that me. on YouTube. That's going to be probably clipped. <laughs> Not looking forward to it. No, that's. <laughs> that, that's going to be. That's, that's gonna content. Be that is content right there. But our players of the week. Production manager, if you do not mind, start with player, Widow. Widow. We just, I really, so this was my recommendation to give to play because really Halo, I felt like was really led by Widow. Mm -hmm. You know, we had Drummond. You oh, Drummond. You know, this man, first map dropped double digit. You know, crazy amount of kills. You know, definitely the player no I expected to pop off in the Siege team. So, you know. And lastly, we had Vincent from League of Legends. the League of Legends team. According to Hey Dino, he just went nuclear. Yeah. He went nuclear on the League of yeah. Legends team. So all three of those players really just, I would say, leading their teams to quite dominant wins. Um, people think, I, I'm going to be honest, so, you know, when you think of CC, I wanted to go more in depth about mine because, you know, some people would expect that, like Reza or Mozek or maybe Fake Black Nick. But sure. No, I gave it to Drummond this week because, you know, he when he dropped double digits that first map, I was like, wow. Because I always say about our team, you never know who to expect to pop up. And I'm sure you can say it for your team. Mm. You never know who's going to pop up. It could be a support day. could be a DPS day. It could be a tank day. You do not know. Well, I mean, I know. But well, you should know. Like my weeks. I tried to be smart about Overwatch. It did not work out. Yeah. But, you know, Drummer, it's okay. Drummer really went off those two maps on Villa and Chalet. Definitely one of the players I you know was really happy to see yeah. improve and perform. I dropped more than two kills, though. That's my support player, yes, sir. Let's go. I dropped seven kills on map two. I was very proud of that because last week I only dropped two kills between two maps. Hey, but you were you were fulfilling the team role, right? Of being the bomb planter. That's right. <laughs> I was I was getting that bomb down. I was for going. all my for all my Valorant, Valorant players. That's like playing Sage on Icebox, and you just keep having to int to plant the spike, and then you die, and your team wins. So he's doing his job. It's just. Statistically, very not. Hard. Yeah, statistically, you don't get much for it, but it is required of the team. So. That is very true. So I want to hear more about your, you know, your Widowmaker pick, if you don't mind. Yeah. So I really just I talked to Cardi after the game, right? Mm. And I was like, listen, man, you know, of, of course I had a game while the Halo game was going on, <laughs> so I wasn't able to watch it. But I was like, you know, according to you, because you know you play on the team and you're the coach, so you kind of have insight to how the team functions. Mm. And he said it had to be Widow. Just because of the consistent, like the kills he was putting down, mm -hmm. and kind of his his presence in the lobby. Mm -hmm. I, I think specifically, not even just in kills wise, but kind of the pressure he was putting out. For it's sure, very For big. Sure. If our production manager don't mind, tell us a little bit more about our Vincent pick right here. Besides going nuclear on the team as he grabs yeah, the Yeah, we don't watch. We don't. I have no clue what happens in leagues. So. Oh yeah. So our wonderful production manager, Hey Dino, will come fill us in on. You know, Vincent. Vincent. But, you know, again, very dominant victory. You know, as you guys moving down the division, hopefully they can you know, establish themselves as one of the best navigators team yeah. in ACC. So I think Hey Dino is ready to speak about Vincent. If you don't mind, Hey Dino. Yeah, so Vincent plays AD carry on League, which is, mm. you know, they're meant to be the person who does the most damage in the game. Sometimes mm. mid laner will pop off like that. Mm. But Vincent had just some insane showings, completely stomped the laners that he was playing against. And then at the middle to end of the game, I mean, if he was on the map and the enemy was there, they just got deleted. He was, he was going crazy, had double-digit kills both games. Crazy. He, he really just took over. He, yeah. uh, he had a dominant performance over his lane opponent and then on the entire team. He just walked over there. Yeah. It was a good showing from, from everyone. His, his partner, Kingsley, in the lane was also doing really good. Um, but it was, it was a really good showing from the all mid -lane of them. Vincent just stood out. Yeah. Vincent was going crazy. Shout out Vincent, you know, and shout out Drummond and Will Maker for being our Coca-Cola and State Farm. Players, players of the, of the week. week. You know, looking forward to seeing who our players are going to be next, next week. Next week, yeah. But speaking of next week, there's one more thing I want to do. Clips of the week. Now, I know you've noticed that we haven't been doing clips of the week because, once again, it's we are It's not because we don't want to. We are students, and things get in the way, like midterms. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they exist. And we have a lot We have a lot of stuff going on. Esports. <laughs> I know. I'm scared of them, too. That's what I'm saying. I still have, I have a midterm, I think, two weeks from now. No, that got canceled because of... What this, class? Three, um, 327. Oh, yeah? Easy. Easy. Wait, I'm in that class. Yeah, you're in that class. You know, but the midterm canceled because of the football game. So shout out uh, whoever our teacher is. Shout out. Yeah, I have no clue. I forgot. Shout out CSC327. Woo! Secure software dev. Love it. So 
clips of the week. So as we all know, Overwatch 2 is a very popular game within the Eagle Esports community. So for our clips of the week, for our next podcast episode, I want to see your best Overwatch 2 clips. I want to see who y'all are throwing it down with, whether it be the Tracer, whether it be the 76, it was it Sephoria, their name? What did you just sojourn? Uh, <laughs> what sojourn, did you sojourn, sojourn, I, I, you're not to say Euphoria on stream. No, I said Sephoria. Yeah, it's not real. I said Sephoria. <laughs> I don't play DPS. T- you said Sephoria. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, not a clip now. That's also a clip, by the way. That's so clip. you will, in fact, be judged by myself oh, um, you know, true. for your clips. So I really am excited to see a whole bunch of variety of plays. I do, I do have to admit, if you send me a hit scan play, I'll be honest, I will probably turn my brain off because I hate watching hit scans. So, yo, but if so it's, Lane if it's cannot crazy, play any clips. If it's crazy shots, I'll watch it. I'm expecting some Widowmaker. I'm expecting some, you know, some yeah, Widowmaker. There'll be some Widow pops off, pop-offs. I, I do have to admit, I'm just going to let this be known now. If Lucio pops off <laughs> and if Zen pops off, I'm very prone to those two characters because those, those are, are my be, two mains those on support. Top, those are going to be the top and then plays. If you go absolutely ballistic on Winton... Um, I love Winton. Winton. <laughs> I love Winton. Winton. So. Well, I would, no. hey, what about our, you know, some of the more support players, you know, besides Lucio and Zen? If I see some Moria clips. Yeah, n- don't submit a Moira clip. <laughs> Moira. I'll be real. <laughs> don't if, no Moira. If, you, if you're like, I got a 5K with Coalescence, <laughs> I'm wrong. No. You did not. Not a lot. But what about Anna's, your tanks? I know, you're, I know you're a big tank player, too. Yeah, big tank. So Winston is my favorite to watch clips because very skilled. Um, primal is a very difficult... And, you know, Winston has a lot of, intri- incri- oh my goodness, words. words Very hard easy. character to play, mm. um, Winston, in the highest level because of how punished you can be. Um, Zarya's really strong right now, so mm. I would, you know, good Zarya clips are good to watch. If you get a crazy diva like, eating of an ultimate, I would love to see that as oh. well. Um, Junker Queen is kind of a pop-up character. I feel like you get clips every time you play that character. So really, all the tanks I enjoy watching. Arissa, I don't really even know how to watch yet because it's so new. But I've seen, I've seen, no offense, I've seen some Arissa pop-up. So in some of the games I play, I've seen some like good three, four Ks so far. I've seen yeah. a full, uh, no five K with Team White, but I've only seen a like, three and four Ks with the Arissa. So. If you get, I will let you know. If you get a five K boop off with Doomfist Punch, I will give you player like the first place. No, no questions asked. Nah, there will be no. I don't think I've ever. I've only seen Doomfist. I've never seen that once. So. I've only seen. Them knock like maybe two and most. Yeah, getting five shouldn't happen. But if it does, I will I will And if it's if it's obviously curated, I'm gonna not put it there. So don't I'm try anything. Sick. So yeah, I want your best Overwatch two clips. Send them in via Discord or add us on Twitter at USM Esports for any I wanna see your clips, clips, Josh. I don't have any clips. Go make some this week. Oh, you want me just I'll just show you. Play me some clips. Overwatch two. I'll Get heal everybody. You want me to just see me just yes. healing everybody on mercy? Okay, <laughs> please do not send in a mercy clip. <laughs> if you are just healing, do not send in a mercy clip. I don't care if you do the e girl jump. I do not care. You know I I I am not gonna lie, I'm not really the clip maker in Overwatch. No, I just make sure I fill out the team role and just healing everybody. You know, right now I would say but this is actually before I even start, this goes into the great segment, our week in gaming. Our weekend gaming. Our weekend gaming. So I can really talk about, you know, my Overwatch 2 experience, you know. Yeah. Um, so far, I've been maining a lot of Baptiste. You no, know, not. I feel like he's also... He's pretty good. A good character. Not hard to understand what he needs to do, but also really hard mechanically to make sure you do right. Especially, you know, with his crouch being able to jump very high. You know, when you need to engage or when you need to be able to be sure you're healing. You know, when to throw your immortality field down. The one thing I'm trying to... And maybe you can help me out this with this ult, too. So I know his ult is, like, pretty good... Yep. Where do you want to place it? Because I know I try to place especially when we're escorting at least near the objective. Like on okay, the um, so Halo. This is where you're going to be like, this guy's the coach. Use solo window yourself on an off angle and go to one shot people. So I just <laughs> play without <laughs> you, the team. Yeah, you don't play with the team because. I try to be a team player. No. I try to help the team out. So but. it depends on the comp. Um, mm-hmm. But BAP window and Overwatch 2, the amount of pressure you can put out by yourself mm-hmm. on a window, you can. If you don't know, window does times two damage. You can one shot people through it if you hit three headshots. I've seen that. So, so very strong. The pressure you give by just solo windowing, they have to respond to it, and then you play to live. Okay. It just creates so a lot of pretty space. much is when it's old time. I need to make sure. It's Not every space. time. If you no. have a, like for example, there was a meta that was defined by Arissa Ryan, and you would bap window, and you would pull fire strike, and it would 
one shot. That oh my seems goodness, like a voice crack. very yeah. bad time for the enemy team. Yeah, it was not fun. So most of the time you want to try to play solo, but also play lip bot. However, if need be. Or give it to your hit scan if you're on hit scan. Uh -huh. It depends on the comp. I, I know that's okay. a very bleak answer, but it really depends on your team comp of okay. what you can do with your ult. Thank you once again, Overwatch, yeah. for helping me out become a very bad piece. I've also been playing. I want to get better with Zen too because I know he's really good, but you know. Yeah. I also feel like you need to be you know when There's to be, a lot that goes into You need to make that. sure you know <laughs> when to give your orb to and who to give your orb to. Because I try to give orbs to, like, you know, maybe... I try to do support, like, our Mercy. Because I know Mercy's been, like, annoying on my end. Or Moria. Mora. I want to get rid of them first before I move on to the other players. Oh, for your Discord? Yes. Yeah. Because I feel like getting rid of the support first, then moving on to everyone else, because then I can't get heals now. So that's easy. I yeah. Like that's kind of a default thing to do in Overwatch, is make sure you get rid of the supports first. So everything else will be easier to do because you don't have mm -hmm. no heals now. Yeah, it depends. I, yeah, you just put Discord on whoever's feeding. It's kind of how it works. Discord, I like to think of it like this. You know, it's a 25% damage amp to the person it's applied to. Mm -hmm. So to like Reinhardt, for instance, you know, Reinhardt's like 650 health. Just think of it as if you hit E on them, it instantly does 120 damage because that's what it does. Wow. You only have to do 500 damage of normal damage to kill them instead of 650. Look at this Overwatch. Isn't Help that crazy? Become a better yeah. Overwatch player. So it really depends who's feeding. That's why I said Junker Queen feels useless because you put Discord or she gets purple, then she's dead. Or same with Doomfist. Like you the get, power, you get purple, it's the okay. little power block thing. You put your power block up. You sleep dart him. He, you know, for some reason power block doesn't block sleep dart, which is I don't understand really? why. Really? No. And so you get slept. You sit there and die. Also been, also been. I play it like on a one time. I feel like she's also very useful yeah. too. You play, you play like the hardest support characters. I, I know. think I've told you. But, but apparently yeah. I've been told that I need to switch to DPS. Yeah. Because you know I'll, I'll give it a try. So. I think if you play DPS, you would just hold angles. Is that sieging me? I yeah. Play, I play like one game with like two. You games try wall banging. <laughs> I bet I bet you've tried that at least once. No, huh? I have not. I have, honestly have not. On BAP, you're telling me you haven't one shot. I'm shot the wall trying to wall bang him. <laughs> I try like no. I like I saw a widow. Like I think I forgot what map it was. I don't know. But like all I see is the top of her head. So I'm like trying to shoot her head. I'm like I'm missing shots. This isn't siege. I can't just one tap him. It's yeah. not like that. I can't hold the angle waiting for her to peek me. Yeah, you're playing support too. I know exactly. I can't be doing. Oh, that. you can actually one tap people on Zen. Oh, you can? With the five orb. The oh, orb. if done yeah. correctly, my aim is good. But I'll play a little bit of Siege this week. No, great week. But yeah, most of this week has been filled Overwatch too. I mean, that game has you know, really taken over Eagle Esports program. I mean, yes. I've seen a lot of players coming here and just playing the lab's the been bumping. I mean, Toast said we've had 89 unique users sign in this week alone onto the PCs in the lab. Um, and Overwatch 2 is now the top That's three. crazy. And yeah, Overwatch 2 is top. Right now it's Overwatch 2, Valorant, and... I think... Rocket League. Yeah. Halo's like fourth. I think we're, we're Siege is number six right now. But Overwatch, you're taking that number one spot because That's that game is just no really, really fun. It's bumping, yeah. Especially for those now, for those who've come back from Overwatch 1 who haven't played like months, come back to Overwatch 2, I mean, it's going to feel weird. But also, it's free now. So, I mean, you yeah, have to pay it's for free the game. to play. You don't have to pay. It's really fun. It's a new game. There's new heroes. Your friends are playing it probably. Well, I'll have to try Kiriko out too. Kiriko? Yeah, she is pretty cool. I've also done, it's like her ult does two times damage as well. It doesn't do two times damage, it shoots two times faster, which is better. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, it's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've if you've seen the clip of Genji Blade with Kiriko ult. When I've he's, heard that. He's I, just, I saw it on TikTok one time, and it was just yeah, homie a is just, bad time. Yeah, he's breakdancing on, live on stream. It's crazy. Zen literally shoots a Gatling gun with it. It's so funny. Oh. But that, that was is, wild. but that was my weekend gaming. So, Sam, how's your weekend gaming been? You know, man, so believe it or not, I've been playing some Overwatch 2. Of course. Um, What's your rank so far? I'm, I placed plat, plat 2, and then I, I ranked up to Diamond 4, and I haven't played since my second rank up. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, I haven't played a lot of Overwatch 2 just because of school stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I did play some Clicker Heroes, just, you know. Clicker Heroes? Yeah, I, just my idle game in the background. For those who don't know what Clicker Hero is, literally all you do. Oh, you don't, I don't click. Oh you, oh, you don't click? Yeah, I have four auto clickers. Wow. Yeah, so they, you know. That's just, not, that's. Uh, maybe I need to give my Clicker Hero player, player of the week, you know, I want to give it out. Shout out to King Midas, just coming in absolutely <laughs> clutch with the 750 guilds, looking absolutely bonkers. It was nuts. But yeah, Clicky Heroes. So Overwatch 2, Clicky Heroes, any other games? I know you had the Ark Survivor Evolves, you know. Yeah, Jeffrey actually, I, have, I haven't played Ark yet this <gasps> week. Ah. What is this? I did I did boot it up, but I was like, I don't have time. That's fair. You are a college student. You're also a CS major. 
L. Time doesn't exist for us. L. I'm so, oh, Lord. Yeah. Bad time, bad time. And I do want to, I do want to shout out, you know, I really want to thank USM for having a career fair. Um, oh, yeah. They've had them for the past three days. I went to the one on Tuesday related to our major. Um, and that's something that we didn't really have for two years during COVID. So I just want to, you know, we said shout out to the school, but specifically as a student, thank you for putting that on. It was very, I know a lot of my friends and me found that very informative and very helpful going forward. I know I, I didn't have a chance to go, but what I've heard of me, a lot of great companies were there yeah. too. I know there's some companies I've already reached out to just even without going through career for yeah. me. It's just so nice to see the university, you know, provide opportunities for a student where it be internships, you know, job opportunities for outside. Cause I know you're a senior, you're graduating mm -hmm. soon. So, you know, having these career fairs is a great opportunity for you to figure out what's yeah. next for me. You know, yeah, we're going to miss exciting. you, Sam. We're going to miss you, yeah. Sam. It'll be a tragedy. It will be a tragedy. But you know what? We will miss you. You will forever be remembered here at USM yep. Esports. But the time for you to leave is not here yet. It's so not here yet. We're going to enjoy I'm the sorry, time guys. we have left with you. Y you ain't getting rid of me. Oh, no. It ain't going to be rid of me. <laughs> but I think that's everything we Jeffrey have Jeffrey will live in your head. Jeffrey will also live in my head. I don't know why, but, you know, Jeffrey was a very important Raptor to Sam. Oh, yeah. But, you know, he will not be forgotten. But thank you so much for tuning into the Eagles Nest Esports Podcast. Shout out once again to Coca Cola State Farm and Southern Miss for all you've done for the USM Esports program. Appreciate you guys. We love y'all more than anything. Shout out Hey Dino for the wonderful production. As shout out Chipper always. the Whipper. Shout out Chipper. That, that was something. <laughs> and shout out all y'all for watching us. I know it's weird not seeing us live, you know. It was fun. It was definitely yeah. fun. But don't get, don't get me wrong. You, so may, you may see us live now from time I think, to time. I think we need to explain why we're not do, we're not hosting it live. Oh, yes. It's yes, because, yes. so, you know, obviously we have our games. And tw how Twitch works, you only have one live notif notification per day. And we really didn't want to, like, block Siege and potentially, like, Overwatch going into right now mm -hmm. and Smash, you know, on these Thursday games. We wanted them to have maximum um, airtime. So we thought about it and we were like, okay, the podcast can doesn't have to be live on 10 at 10 a.m., right, which is an awkward time for a lot of college students. Mm -hmm. So we're just doing it, having it as a VOD, and then having those games get that notification for, you know, potentially more viewership so people know it's on. That is very true. Yeah. And like I said, you'll still be able to listen to us, like I said, live. Yeah. You can listen to us on YouTube and wherever you get your podcast from, Spotify, Apple Music, or I think Google still has their thing. Yep. But, you know, you can listen to Google us wherever Google Podcast. You, yeah. Do a podcast? Google Podcast. Google Podcast. But you can still... You can still listen to us from YouTube, Spotify, and wherever you listen to your podcast from. So we are not going anywhere. We are still going to be here. It just will not be live. Now, maybe from time to time, you will get us live. You never know. We will keep you updated. So yeah. follow us on Twitter at USM Esports to let you know when we do go live. Right hey, you should follow me at, at USM or at Juicebox Hero underscore At Overwatch. USM Esports. Yeah, follow USM Esports, but also follow Juicebox Hero underscore Overwatch. Oh, it's underscore OW. OW, my yeah. bad. Underscore OW. You have a wonderful picture of Sam as his profile picture. Yep, though. it's me. Uh, I was, a, you know, I was a camp counselor. It's me doing a clap the hands with the hands above the head with me screaming. It's wonderful. I have a lay on. <laughs> And on, that note, that and on that about, note, and on that note, that about does for our Eagle Nest Esports. Right, thank you so much for watching. Have a great Thursday afternoon, and Southern Miss to, to the, the top. top.